Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for the episode we got this cool mismatch right here and basically what this is, is a jump starter. And this is from the brand called Fantic and this is the T8 Apex jump starter. So this is basically what the packaging looks like when you guys first get it. But I'm actually open this up to show you guys what is actually included inside first. Alright, so when you guys first open up, it looks like there's a box inside box. But let's take it out first. So once we take it out, you can definitely see that there is a box inside box. And then see on the side right here, they mention how the product works as a power bank. And basically power on here is 20,000 mAh. And this side right here, they also mention how the product is 65 watts. So definitely give you guys a fast charging option. If you guys turn this side right here, that is basically the current that's on here, which is 2008. But I'm going to open this up to show you guys what's included inside. All right. So when you guys first open the product right here, this is basically what actually looks like inside. You can definitely see the product on here. It definitely looks pretty big and very bulky, which is totally understandable since the product is a jump starter that also works as a power bank as well. So I'm seeing the bottom part here, there is some more stuff. So let's take everything out. So here is the first box. When you guys open up, inside right here, they do provide the cable. So here are the cables. And for each one of these cables right here, if you can see, they do have the actual label on here. So that way you guys know which one is negative and which one is positive. So when you guys want to use the jump start option, you definitely want to actually plug it in and put it correctly. And before you guys plug it in, you want to make sure everything is safe to actually plug it in before you guys do it because you guys don't want to shock yourself. And right here, we have the other end of the cable. So you definitely want to plug this into the jump starter option. And it's actually really cool how they probably got the cover option as well. So that way the product is always safe when you guys put the cable away. So that is the first box right here. Now for the second box right here, when you guys open up, this actually looks like inside right here. Let's take everything out. So inside right here, they do price the user manual to teach you guys how to set a product and also how to use it as well. And inside the product has two cable. One of them is USB-C to USB-C and the other one is USB to USB-C. But definitely, I mean, see the cable on here. It definitely looks and feels like a high quality cable. And that's really cool how the product has a strap option as well to actually hold the cable in place. And last but not least, it looks like the product has a little bag. So let's open up. All right, so right here, they do price the little bag to actually hold the product. And on the back right here, they do have the brand logo. And if you guys go inside the bag, they do have a little divider. So that way you guys can actually separate like, the jump starter and the cables. So that is basically everything that's included in the package right here. Now I'm going to show you guys what the product looks like. All right. So right here, we do have the product. And right here, they do have this grip option right here to let you guys know that you definitely want to fully charge it before you guys use it. But when you guys take the part out, this is basically what the product looks right here. So they do have the brand logo right here and they do label each side on here. So this side right here is a 12V out. This side right here is a USB option. And then for the fan part right here, we do have the button. So if you guys turn it on, it show you guys the percentage on here. So it's not fully charged yet, but you definitely still use it if you guys want to. If you guys turn the back part here, they do probably get a quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set a product and also how to use it as well. But when you guys open this side right here, that is basically where you're actually plugging the cable for the jump starter cable. So if you guys open up, that's basically what the inside looks like. I definitely love how they actually give you guys the cover option right here. So that way the product can be like water resistant once you guys fully seal it up. And when you guys turn on the other side right here, that is basically the USB option. So when you guys open up, that is basically what the inside looks right here. So they do have the slot where you have to plug in like a USB option and a USB-C option as well. So you definitely use that as a power bank that should recharge like your phone or whatever you guys want to actually charge in here. And definitely for the USB-C option, you can definitely use that option right here to actually recharge this product. But basically on this side right here, they also have the option for you guys to seal it up. So that way the product is water resistant. And when you guys look at the side of the product right here, they do have a very nice grip. So that way when you guys hold it on the side right here, it definitely gives you guys a very good grip. And as you can see on the side right here, there's another switch as well. So let's press on this button right here. That basically turns on the light. If you guys see how bright the light is on here. And that's actually really cool how she has the option on here. So that way when you guys are jump starting your car in the dark, you definitely will have a flashlight option on here. And basically for the light option on here, there's different mode as well. So here is mode number one. Here is mode number two. And then here is mode number three. And also you can see right here, they tell you guys some of the specs and features that's on here for both input, output, and everything else. And that is basically everything that's on the bar right here. Before I should test it on the car, let me actually show you guys how to use a USB option first. So if we open up this bar right here, I'm gonna use the cable right here to actually recharge it. So basically I'm plug it in right here. So let's see when I actually plug it in right here, it show you guys that it is in using the input right here to actually recharge the product. But let's test out the other option on here as well to see when that works. So for the other side right here, I'm gonna plug in my iPhone cable right here. All right, so we got it in. I'm gonna use this side right here to actually charge my phone. All right, so let's see it definitely does work. 
So you can definitely use both input and output at the same time. And we see right here, it'll show you guys in and out. So that way I know the product definitely does work. Now let's actually go test out the jumper cable option to see how that works. All right, so I have the product right here all set up. So basically when you plug it in, you have to make sure the positive is with positive and negative is negative. So right here is negative and right here is positive. So let's test it out. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up this part right here. And then you basically wanna plug these in first. So here's for this one. And then here's for this one. And you basically want to plug it in right here. All right, so once you guys plug it in, this is basically what the product looks right here. It basically tells you guys that you guys are using 12V option right here. And it tells you guys that you're ready to start using it. So let's turn on the engine first. All right, so let's definitely see the product on here. That definitely does work. And it's showing 14 volt on here, and the battery is definitely going down. So definitely, if you guys use the jump start option, it definitely does work. And right, welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of the button that we see that she does work and she works quite well. So obviously for the car that I show you guys, there's nothing wrong with the car. So I didn't really need to actually jump start the car. But we see we actually use the product, it definitely does work as well. So definitely really cool how the product works as a jump starter option and also works as a power bank as well. So that way you guys never have to worry about running out of battery for your device. Since you do have the power bank option on here to actually recharge the device. But that is basically everything that's on the product here. Now the unboxing and testing the product. Not to end the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for the power here, I would definitely have to say that it is super worth it if you got one more than need warranties. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality jump starter that works as a power bank as well, then this is definitely super worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.